I'm Scott Parent, and this is Relevantly Speaking. Hi everyone, welcome to this week's show. Today we're talking to arguably the biggest name in performance marketing, Sean Collins. Now I caught up with him recently in New York and talked about a variety of topics, including how he spends a typical day and why he opted to move Affiliate Summit West from the Rio to the Win. Let's take a look. I'm here with Sean Collins. Sean, you're all over the affiliate world. Tell us a little bit about what you th how you think the state of the industry is right now in affiliate marketing. I'd say I think it's evolving. I see a lot of people doing different things, especially around new plugins for blogs to try to automate things and make it more effective and, and more efficient. And for myself, I used to, up until even six months ago, I was doing most of my sites, my affiliate sites, manually just hand coding them. It just got to be too much, so I just, I've converted everything over. It was a bit of a hassle to move over these sites and just basically copy and paste them into new pages to make it a lot of manual work. But, but now that it's all converted, it's just a, it's a godsend to be able to have it all automated and using various plugins for like auto posting and data feeds and things just makes my world a lot easier. And, and also I think um, a big issue right now that I think a lot of people, more people should be paying attention to is just legislation from state to state. And unfortunately, the, it seems like maybe there's a small core of people that are addressing it and fighting it in various states and people are being sort of complacent. So I think people really have to sort of get up and pay attention to what's going on, especially in their states because their, their livelihood could be at stake. What is it now you work with, I mean, in your role at Affiliate Summit, you work with networks. I mean, you, you have a lot of sponsorship and, and that obviously is something that drives the, the, the event. What is it that networks need to do to continue to be successful in 2010? I think one huge thing is just to have something unique. Uh, the thing I hear most often, oftentimes with the feedback from Affiliate Summit attendees is that they go through the exhibit hall there and every network saying they have like the best offers, the best payouts and everything, and oftentimes they don't. So I think it's just different, differentiating themselves, however that may be, if it's to actually have all kinds of unique things or focus on one niche or just whatever they do, just do something different and do it the best instead of just making these claims but not really fulfilling them. Fulfilling them. Now, obviously people know you so much because of Affiliate Summit, but if, if people read your blog, they see that you're involved in so many things. And I thought it would be interesting because I think the answers may surprise people that how do you spend, you know, most of your time in a typical day? Where is most of your energy, you know, focused on? I guess the, ultimately I, I get to have a very flexible schedule. I work from home, so it makes it very convenient for me. So I, a lot of my, my schedule really revolves largely around my family with, I have four kids getting them off to school and and just um, doing things out the day with my wife and things. And then, so I, I sort of work and like live my life 24 seven and I don't really have set hours. So I'll really, Affiliate Summit consumes the majority of my, my work and a lot of sort of related projects like Feedfront Magazine. We put that out four times a year and that has a sort of a, a long lead up for each issue. So doing a lot of stuff with that day to day and I do a podcast once a week and do a lot of videos and I blog seven days a week. And, um, and also I just, I try to keep a sort of a healthy head by getting out and, and going and running. Just for the last year, I've been running out, getting some exercise. And, and I also like to do some charity things. We always have something tied to Affiliate Summit and also just separate on, on my own. I like to try to do fundraisers here and there, whether it be for raising money for a 5K for some kind of cause or, or whatever else it may be. But so I, I have a pretty, I don't really have a typical day. It's, it really varies depending on the what's going on, whatever is the big pressure that day. And, and also, I forgot to mention that I just had tons of affiliate sites too, so, so I have to go and just maintain them and make sure they're all functioning and make updates. So it's a little bit frenzied, but a lot of fun. Yeah, you're a busy guy, and I, I just want to reiterate the fact that Affiliate Summit, you and Missy, always I always read about sort of the good things that you're using that, almost your celebrity in that space for, and, and the two of you really do a lot in the charity space, so I think that's really commendable. Um, you recently announced that uh, Affiliate Summit West 2011 will be held at the Win this year for the first time. It's always been at the Rio, I think, right? Um, what, how did that happen? What was the decision-making process behind that? We've been sort of evolving over the years. Our first time we were in Vegas, we were at the Riviera, and, and then we, um, for two years we were at Bally's, and then three years at the Rio. And um, so basically we've just been sort of scaling up to a better property year by year, and we were locked into a, a multi-year contract with the Rio, so a lot of people were saying they didn't like it because it was off the strip or for various reasons. 
And so, um, and I guess fortunately also we get a lot of feedback that people only want to spend X amount per night for a hotel room. And a couple of years ago, the wind was out of that range. But now with, with the economy, I guess we were actually benefiting from the slowdown in Vegas. So we we're able to get a better hotel for a lower price than it was a year or so ago. So we're very excited about that, that whole facility. I love the, the hotel there. Yeah, in fact, I think besides the Rio, a lot of people, most of the people that I knew have stayed at the Wynn this past year. Yeah, yeah, and both the Wynn and Encore there, they're just phenomenal places. I stayed at Encore for PubCon last fall, and it's just a, a great spot, and just they're so centrally located, too. So, And how do the, you know, obviously, people obviously think about, well, how's my hotel room, or how is it on the Strip? But you have to think about conference facilities and things like that. How does the Wynn compare to the Rio? I mean, obviously, you must have thought it was going to be a, a good fit for, for Affiliate Summit. Yeah, it has basically, a lot of people say, like, why don't you do it at so-and-so hotel, but there are literally maybe five hotels in all of Vegas that we can actually fit in with all the, the needs we have, and we, we don't really like to go to the convention center. We don't want to have more of the community vibe of having it in a hotel, and so, and just by virtue of the fact that I guess the win is five, six years old, just has far newer facilities than the Rio, I think, 20, 30 years, whatever it is, and, and it's clearly dated when you go in there. So it's, I'm excited about just the, just the newer, nicer, brighter environment there. Sean, thanks so much for taking time. I mean, we were joking before we started shooting how I always try and catch you to get on camera at really busy times, and I really appreciate you taking the time, and, and best of luck this year. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you. It's great to see you. Now, what I loved about talking to Sean is how approachable he is. He's known throughout the online advertising industry, but he's the most down-to-earth guy I've met in a long time. Thank you to Sean for taking time out of his busy schedule to chat with us. That's our show for this week. My name is Scott, and I hope to see you next week.